All right, so welcome to the cab of a versatile 610 Delta Track. We're gonna just do a little bit of a tour here. Had a bunch of people ask me on Instagram for one, so while we're seating away, we'll cover kind of the monitors, what I like, what I don't like so far about it. I guess we'll start off with the steering wheel and the gauges and everything. I got analog gauges here. I didn't actually think I would like this because I'm used to the John Deere with everything over on the corner post. But it actually comes in really handy. We can get our track tension, speed, fuel gauge, depth gauge. There's a temperature sensor right there. So it's actually quite nice. You got your hazards right here. As far as room in the cab goes, it's really nice. I can't even touch the windows on any side of me. So. Lots more room than our 9530 ever had. And then for our monitors here, we just kind of put our Borgo drill monitor, master switches, and our two-way radio kind of mounted on the bar here, and then a bracket up there that Curtis made. So we run a John Deere GPS. We have that mounted on the bar. And this is the tractor control screen. We run our hydraulics and everything through the screen you can just kind of tap and do what you want to do there uh, it's actually quite nice it took a little bit to get used to but we got it going there and we just mounted our drill control box onto the armrest as well as far as the armrest goes it's fairly straightforward pretty simple you got all your buttons for your lights here and windshield wipers diff lock you unlock for your hydraulics there park brake PTO and you got your hydraulics over here, which is quite nice. Uh, the one thing that I can't quite get used to is this, what they call the inching pedal. It's quite hard to get a smooth start out of it. And there's your brake and then your decelerator there. And it's a power shift. You shift with these two buttons on the side and then there's a button here. To, you got to press that in to put it into forward or into reverse. And comfort, there's two cup holders on this side and two cup holders on this side. The buddy seat apparently is quite comfortable. I haven't really sat on it yet, but... And then there's more storage under here. It's quite a big compartment. Um, one thing I find Versatile maybe does lack is in storage here, because you can't fit pens or anything in the armrest here. Just our computer mouse because sometimes our screen quits. So the touch screen part doesn't work and we have to use a mouse. But I got all kinds of stuff down there too, window rags and whatnot. And there's a little pouch back here where we put our seating binder and but so far as far as the cab goes, I'm really liking the room. It's nice and quiet in the cab. And the stereo is actually really good. A lot better than I thought it would be. You got your climate control up there. You got vents in the roof up around you. And there's a couple on the floor as well. Turn the corner here. So we put this drill control box right here so it's easy to reach and close to the auto steer resume button. So on a corner, actually I, I find this drill uh, control box to be in the perfect spot on this tractor because when you make your turn just line myself up there I press auto steer quick and then I just press the drill control box usually with my right hand so I'm not reaching as far and it's really simple and easy I guess one other thing versatile could have added is foot pegs down on the bottom I know some manufacturers have them that would be really nice for stretching out your legs and stuff, but otherwise, as you can see on the floor, in our 9530 we didn't have as much room as this, so I couldn't even put my lunchbox, coat, or anything in the corner, but we got a saw for cutting hoses and stuff. And so much room out there yet too, and even just on the floor there's a spot for storage underneath the seat. As floor space, there's, a, there's plenty. It's really nice for that. There's one last issue with this tractor is the door. I really like it on the inside. There's 
really no pillars or any, anything in the way because their 9530 had a pillar here. But trying to get in and out, this door is so big that, and the ladder is in such a bad spot that when you open the door, it smacks you on the head if you're not careful. You gotta stand on the bottom two steps or else this part of the door right here smacks you in the head. So I think there could have maybe been some better designing in the door, but as far as uh, view from the inside, it's really nice. There's nothing in the way and that, that pillar is nice and small. I mean, I think with every tractor nowadays, there's a lot of stuff in the corner there. But yeah as for viewing angles and everything it's quite nice there's a lot of window to look out of overall i really like the cab it rides a little rough but i think that's just tracks in general so yeah there's kind of what i like and don't like about the versatile cab